Alright guys, this scooter guy here with some waterproofing tips. It's starting to get wet in Oregon. We got a Cabo Mantis 10 here. Sorry about all the other stuff, the glue. That wasn't me. But up front here, if you take the front deck plate off, which is just two screws in the bottom over. Doop, doop, on the bottom of the deck. You can pop those off. And then there's four screws underneath the controller here. You get those out, the controller slides out. This controller is not water sealed at all. There's a, a groove right here. And on the other side, there's another groove and also the hole with all the wires coming out. I don't recommend sealing that hole with the wires coming out due to heat displacement. But you should be able to seal both ends of your controller and then the little hole that the wire, wires go through, you should be able to make maybe a rubber gasket or if you feel like it to put some silicone in there. A um, couple of things that I found with taking these apart is that these are not waterproofed. This is one big heat shrink they put over this. And the ends on both ends are not waterproofed. Can't really get in there. Um, I'll be putting... A gasket, not silicone, and I try not to use too much silicone as it's not the best to hold up to the weather. And then I'll be putting a little bit of gasket on the back of that light. Same with the back lights. And then I will make a gasket that goes here. I kind of go over all the screws just a little bit so it all squeezes out so I know it's sealed. I try to get into, there's a groove right here that the light's... The light sits in, of course I can't get it, but the back of these for a gasket, and then when you put this on, this side has a hole where the wire for the motor and the cable for the brake caliper come in. This I will silicone shut, just to make sure no water gets in there. The wire going into the motor needs some silicone around it, but I recommend pulling up the little spring things they put on here keep from wearing wires out and then just don't pump it full of silicone but definitely fill it up full of silicone so no water can get into your motors i've split the motors apart so i trust that they're they're pretty sealed up but they're not river proof you can't soak them but you definitely can splash them um a few other pointers for your throttle to make sure your throttle is covered i usually go into here into this hole and i'll put a piece of plastic bag and with silicone around it and then stick that with the wires down the bottom here like push them down put the plastic over the top of everything and then pump silicone around it so that I don't fill this hole with just silicone but it does have a seal because we don't want any water getting into this compartment and then after that we take our wire brush and we cleaned up all the edges here for the battery cover to sit on and we'll just be putting a gasket on that um i guess that's the best recommendation i have for you guys to waterproof the mantis 10 it definitely needs it more up here in the box area um there's a hole right in there that leads right into the battery pack and this guy's scooter that i have now is actually have the new controller because of this there is a slot right here going in with the wires right here that we need to i will backfill this slot so there's not silicone just pumped on top here and it looks looks trashy and then i'll put my plastic bag in here and pump silicone on top of that I will probably take the front cover and put a bead of silicone in the groove here as thick as I can get it without being obnoxious because this doesn't really seal to anything but if you can get a thick enough bead of silicone it will help seal it and then on the flat side about a quarter inch in I'll do another bead of silicone bead of silicone bead of silicone, bead of silicone, and then with the sides here, I will just make gaskets that go right here, 
So when I slide it on, the gasket will be formed to the front cover. Um, that's about all I got for you for sealing up the Mantis 10. Just make sure you pay attention to where wires are, where there's little holes. There's a hole right here that the, there's like a, a, a bracket that goes through there for this. Right there. Yeah, I put a little bit of silicone in there. So when I put the cover back on, that hole's for sure sealed up. Bake from the factory seal the butt pretty good. It's pretty good seal in there. Yeah, hope you guys don't get your e-vehicles ruined by the rain, but 